Boom, 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 boom. Hi. <laughs> what kind of rap show was that I was starting? I was like, <laughs> what is this, MTV? <laughs> anyway, good evening and welcome to TT. TT, Assalamu alaikum to all of my Muslim brothers and sisters. At the Trend Live is how you could say hello on Twitter. My name is Amina Abdul Abba, my panelists, Butita, Cindy, Maria, Maria. and yeah. Kach, I told you when you wear this flower, you have to, there's a tax bracket you have to be a part of to start wearing these flowers. Let me tell you, huh? you have flowers. Press a sassy man. These are not clothes you wear in no. tattoos. These are, no. <laughs> these are all Fuliza clothes. Yeah. Tell her clothes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you told me I look at a dab of that? You know how they call this uh, type of outfit. your outfit? Uh -huh. Oh, what's it called? It's called a piel nadi. A piel nadi. Yeah. <laughs> is this an inside joke? Why Why do all of you understand this and I do? the meaning of what he's just saying. A piel nadi. A piel nadi. Should I stop saying like, it? How do I do Let's my business? Let's just take a look at what trended this week other than a piel oh. nadi. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look how do at I what do went my down. Business? In fact, starting off in the land of, I think, that Pierre Nadi, how is this even a story <laughs> that is happening in this country? Sometimes I'm so embarrassed. I can't read that story. Uh, your, is your mother, my sister, your cousin, and my <laughs> and your auntie, and my... Is she we? Are you us? Is it? <laughs> now, our president decided to create new relatives in his speech while he was in Jamaica. Sidhu, he thought we will not see this video. No. <laughs> All right, so quite a woman representative, uh, Zuleika Hassan, kicked out of uh, the chambers with her five-month-old baby. What are your thoughts? We'll talk in a bit. Now, it was a joyous moment when a woman delivered right outside Nation Center. All right, so, Wagwan Mirasta Media, let's start things off. <laughs> now, this week, sometimes I feel like we're given. We're giving entertainment content yes. to just sort of cover up a lot of other things. Kingston. Yeah? <laughs> the original. The original. Yes. President Kingston. All right, so now we had a full day this week after our president, uh, you know, his choice of words, <laughs> when he was explaining to uh, the Jamaican Empire about uh, how he's related to them. It was like, uh, is she, we, are we, he. It was, you know, you know, I, mean, you know those I realized two things. Eh? One of them is, what <laughs> are Because now our president realized, oh, I'm in Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> and two, you know, we just, we just the two of us, Kwetu, me and my brother. Yeah. And I've just realized that my brother's brother is a very cool person. Yeah. <laughs> like, brother's <laughs> brother, you know, my relative. My sister's mother. Mm. Uh, it's also my mother. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized that. Unajami, ni ni pwa tayo kitu. My auntie son. Yeah. I just realized we are cousins. We are cousins. Ah. Ni 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 concentrate yo kitu ni kona zikwa zipia zineza kwa zikwa zimeshika. Yeah. My wife's brother's mother. mother. What if the wife and the brother don't share the same mother? True. Could be possible by the way. Yeah. Could be so possible. So then you do zimeshika labda. No, no, but you know, um, a lot of a lot of Asian yeah. communities say that, and it's yeah. direct translation from Urdu or Hindi where they say. My cousin's sister. It's very common for them to say that, like, you know, my your cousin's cousin sister well, is your cousin, you, you, you know? <laughs> or my auntie's sister. <laughs> they say that all the time, by the way. So maybe Kali Changanikiwa. That's why we, we lose. Yeah, we make it very simple. Mm. Yeah. Everyone, whether they are, we don't have cousins, no, we don't but have you uncles. See. We have brothers and, and fathers. Sisters. Oh, and fathers. Every, all your uncles are your fathers. But you know, sometimes you yeah. are related to someone you just can't explain. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you've seen them in your compound all of your life, yeah. but you know oh, those there's people, no blood. Those Especially, oh my word, when I got on TV. Unajua mkine wachana na uyo. 
Unajua nani alikubeba kutoka kwa hospitali? Ukiwa two years I don't know. Why you lying? I don't know that. Mimi hata wenye nachukianga ni watu wanakukumbusha anga mtu huko ina maisha yako. Na unafona nanga na maremu nani yule? Unajua alikuwa kama wewe exactly. No 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 the worst are the ones who compare you to like the person who is failed miserably and <laughs> not doing well the alcoholic who has four baby mama is a pickpocket <laughs> but you know the good thing about looking like a, a drunk uncle is you will always be their favorite That's so the if they are, yeah, even if they are drunkardless yeah. but they will yeah. do you favors lakini mbona tu mtu anafanana naye anakumbusha anga but reserve manze manze like wale mwenye anafanana na wewe hawezi kukwa joy joshua you know like oigara like mali bama bama anana yule anti wa kusengenya una kona na yule mwizi ule kazi yako ile mwizi ule mwenye mshipa mara tatu na polisi all right so now quiet woman rap this was also a really big story this week zuleka hassan she entered the chambers with a five month uh, old baby christopher omolele who is serving as a speaker ordered miss hassan to uh, withdraw from the chamber saying it's not the right place to take care of a child and section of course of uh, male MPs and women law uh, makers as well you know some agreed supported Mrs. Hassan urging her to stay put causing a standstill within the chamber so there were people who some were like I right. yeah. what are your thoughts I'd like to hear from the guys before I talk what do you guys yeah. think? personally I think eh, that was a very right time for them to start discussing why every workplace should have a place where a person who's um, having a newborn yes. can take care of their kids yeah, right. within yeah. yes within the working uh, premises there are very right. many organizations that have worked towards this yeah. and there are some that have not mm -hmm. they should and also it is strange it's quite ironical what, what do they call it ironical i think mm -hmm. that they don't want babies in the parliament mm -hmm. but they are nominating babies inside the parliament so so ali kata one of their own lakini mtu ya 5 years i think Five months. Five, five, five months. Five months. Yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, five months ni mdogo sana. Ni mdogo sana. I think pia uh, uh, I hope kuna msao kuteke au mtu hiyo pia mi na filia pia mtu yule anampeleka wapi huko. They did say that they they all of a sudden there were these pictures and videos you saw them they surfaced yeah. right yeah. after and they were oh there you know there's the daycare the place that you can you know yeah. uh, become with maybe a caregiver or a yeah. nanny maybe yeah. and I, she could take care of I feel like I mean you and your mom you can tell when a piece of equipment especially baby a, a crib yeah. and what has been used and if it is brand new still yeah. in the tag i do not think mm. the the female mps are crazy to say that a crash did not exist and then suddenly after two hours yes, a crash with brand new stuff yeah. existed me, me a that bridge me. that has absolutely nothing inside uh, existed yeah. if i can give my own personal story last month my yeah. nanny just disappeared she said she had an emergency a week i took a week off but the week became two weeks if I could, I would go with my son, who's a year yeah. plus. Yeah. I'd go with my son to work, and I absolutely do not think it's a problem. Yeah. It is an emergency. We yes. don't mm. always have caregivers yeah. to leave our kids with. We don't always have nannies who are reliable. Sometimes, as moms, we have to balance our careers and our kids. And I don't yes. think the child was crying. But they were saying child specifically in the chamber. No, by the by the by the this how, this how I look at it. Uh, Mina that is specifically in the chamber. Yes, nipoa kuda hiyo right ya wewe na mtoto wako unaweza na namtoi job kama kuna yeah. emergency. But I think at this stage kuna two point alikuwa na try to drive. I don't think Yenye, it has nothing to do with an emergency of I don't know nani. why whenever a woman is in crisis there's always a sasa, point. Yeah. Sasa, sasa, sasa what if she's it? in crisis? No. But the good thing is they got a crash out of it uh, and yes. it's a conversation we are yeah. having. But because I, I was having a conversation even if the baby yeah. was crying yeah. inside the chambers. Wanataka mtoto anyamaze au ongelele handbags za mama. Na wanataka tu ongelele hii story by the in ya in ya nenga mimi sikuwa nataka kuongelele story. So now on a you know sometimes I think there are people who watch a lot in fact we have a lot of people who watch the show yeah. on the tube right, right. so they're, they're just wondering why this is a story in kenya but anyway homabe county assembly hey. <laughs> how this is something we're talking about with all the debt that we have but lena my producer so sasa when i'm talking about 
corruption. Anyway, but so now this week they were attacked by a pungent smell when one of their own decided to commit a heinous act. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she was a hot Aki, that's my county. What's that? I'm going to a rack Okay, Homer Bay has been in the news for all the wrong reasons. Yeah. Why is this even in the news anyway? I know. Yeah, okay. I know. What do you mean? Yeah. Malaysia. Yeah, it's the news. Malaysia is not in that is so embarrassing it's not something you would discuss atam kiwa kwa nyumba like in your small household and then that's something but at least finally and on that note, we take a break. We come back. I tell you all about a run that you need to attend this coming Sunday and a brand new phone that you definitely need to have right here on TTTT. TT. We're going to be back in a bit. And welcome back at the Trend Live on Twitter. The hashtag is TTTT. That's going to win you stuff tonight, by the way. All right, so now on Sunday, there's going to be an amazing run. I don't know if you guys have ever been for any color run. Have you ever seen pictures, ever, right? Yes, yeah, it's so on, amazing. At you what? You've been before? Oh, yes. oh. Oh. Well, well, well. So now, if you want to see other colors, <laughs> other than this one, Plus Code Color Run is happening on Sunday. It's a five kilometer family run. You know, I've never ran. You know, they said to 10 kilometers. Family run. Never. 5 Whatever. I can run like 10 minutes. Jaribu, unaza pata wedi yo champion wa 800 na umekaza hapa. Umekaza hapa. I know, and uh, my father ran, my mother ran. Miki, amia kuna tusidia jaribu. Long jump run. Nini mejaribu, nini mekisha. Yes, guys. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Na saya mejaribu mziki, I hope you guys can. Yeah. Yeah. Mumwambie. <laughs> Mumwambie kama simple boy. <laughs> no. So Sunday, mimi hapo na guanda yangu. Yeah. <laughs> The known family and the unknown family, what it started back in 2015. It's grown to be a lot bigger. It's really, really cool. The pictures have looked amazing. It's so exciting to just see people participate. And you're doing it for a really, really wonderful cause. You know, for um, uh, all of the proceeds that they get. Plascon ensures that the proceeds are channeled to, you know, fundraise and, uh, for an initiative where they see disadvantaged but academically gifted young people getting an opportunity to go to school. So you're, you're having fun, you're seeing your family, and you're doing something really, really cool and tonight in fact because we want to uh, make sure that we see you on Sunday this is what we're gonna do one of you is gonna win a return ticket to Diani courtesy of Silverstone two of you are gonna win a KFC lunch voucher and six of you are gonna get complimentary tickets to come through and join us on Sunday all you have to do with the hashtag TTTT is um, uh, take a selfie that you're watching the show. Easy peasy. Can you imagine? Wow. Just like that. And of course, you can go to an event like that and you don't have a camera. Yeah. And who, what, what you know, better? I'm, I'm just telling myself, right? Yeah. Can I participate? Like, I take a selfie right now and uh, mm -hmm. because I have a very nice phone. Also, tell yourself, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. So now, the phone that Quatch is holding that we have to keep track of before he leaves with it in the, yeah. <laughs> from the building. He tells himself. The something. Reno device from Oppo. The camera for me, of course, being everything. At the back, you have the 48 megapixel, 13 megapixel, and 8 megapixel camera. What? Which is a really when nice video. Really? How? Yeah. How? Yeah. Yeah. 10 times. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, you know, like, <laughs> quality zoom for long distance. You know, the way you're taking... There we go. Hello. And you see how wide it is? It's taking yeah. a selfie yeah. of the whole of nation. Where? The whole of this building. All right, so there it is. So there's a lot more to the device. We're going to talk about it throughout the show as we also talk about when is this story. Coming? My phone. You just burped. I don't know if we should no, address no, no, that. Don't go home a bay, by the way. Please. Don't go home a bay on yeah. us. <laughs> no, but you know, if we could go back, <laughs> let's just go back to the story about the baby. Don't you feel like they looked, it's as if she had come in with like a, a weapon of... Why? You know, like it was just so dramatic. They were like, I know. Okay, but, 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 no. They were chanting her down. Shocked, like, like uh, Ooh, you need to have face. Okay, uh, uh, she had an innocent baby. But Pia, you can't say, I treated you bad, but. It needs to be. Unajua vizuri ufai kuingia uko. Anaza explain ambie, kulikuwa na noma leo na nini. 
than we are able, but we all agree. It was like they were chanting down Babylon. Yeah. Tell us, yeah, it was a bit Yeah. Tell us what you think about this, of course, at uh, the Trend Live. Quach, you want to say something? No. Thank God. <laughs> From <laughs> these two babies <laughs> to yet another baby. Now, this is a beautiful story of a woman delivering <laughs> no, outside. No no no, no. <laughs> no? no, no. It was no, a joyous no. moment, though. Yeah. What? No? There was a woman who delivered a baby right outside. Right outside. Yeah. And you know yeah. how lucky I was? Inside I was right there. No way. Yes. Get out of town. Was right outside. Nimtotoko. Right outside. Okay, Abana. You have to be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like you you want to go like some me. call me. <laughs> 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 you well. We have learnt a lot he the last few weeks. He told me to bring it out. You went to Sana, 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 Roll, kill him, roll, roll, roll. Yes, at least we support each sure. other. I love yeah. men. Yeah, you know what? Really, yeah. what even men were there. Even men were yes, there. men supported, yeah. but you know. And, and Cindy, that's why I, I normally <laughs> disagree, Kabisa, with those people who say the enemy of women are women. It's just a theory that is meant to keep the women not supporting each yeah. other. Thank you. Because it's not true. <laughs> because that day I was right there outside right. with his mama. The taxi guy came. He was frustrated. Mm. The producer and Denga was there. Kakibia, Kapata, Is it true? The taxi guy said, Woo, you know, is it true? <laughs> I, I would be, I, can you imagine if someone is giving birth yeah. in your, in, yeah. and you're yeah. just there so frustrated, you're just like, I can't yeah. believe what a chukua 25%. Yeah. You know, it, yeah. and then, can you imagine? Also, the ladies were there yeah. now, like barricading the, the, the car, car. Yes. Yeah, to let her do her thing. In yeah. Thank goodness, I, there's a hospital right in the building. So the guys went and helped. Oh. And what I also realized is Kenyans. Are really helpful people when they want to exactly because in five minutes mm -hmm. there were almost three four uh, emergency car really wow. right outside i know yeah. but there are times we really come together i bet i'm really pure school fees at yeah. class eight you I know like bonfire has given her the baby a holiday <laughs> that kind of thing you know <laughs> It's not quite evil. Whenever there's a crisis, what's wow. going on? You know the way these yeah. days everyone's picture. We will grow up knowing all your pictures have a katag. Yeah, exactly. No. Your clothes sponsored. <laughs> your lady <laughs> sponsored. Guy. <laughs> anyway, all right. So now, um, you know, there's a really bad meme I saw the other day. Mm -hmm. So bad. Mm -hmm. Imagine uki uki grow up alafu and be I just wanted an iPhone. That's how you were born. Imagine. Oh my God! Oh, I wanted the, you know. Anyway, listen. Now the governor of Nairobi, Mike Sonko, the member of Parliament, Mili Oziambo, took to social media to wash their dirty linen in public. They exchanged words which were somehow below the belt. It was. Did you see it? Yes. Oh gosh, this is such a difficult one for me, yeah. just because yeah, man. Yeah. The blows that were hit they were, were way very, below You know, the I world, kept checking if it was real or, you know. Yeah, you know like, these people, you can't believe them every I single moment. I thought it was moment. a tough one, yeah. Yeah. There's a docket that demands respect. It just demands a certain level of decorum. You don't go there, you don't go to the mud, you don't roll, uh, roll around with the pigs. Yeah. Some of the stuff that was said um, was really disheartening for me as a woman, as a mother. Mm, you know, it very. was, it, I felt bad mm. because i felt if that's how you feel you cannot change your mind and then go to another platform and say i stand for and i represent women when you can defame um discredit humiliate humiliate mm. um a woman just to prove a point i just feel there's another level that you don't stoop so that's why I'm saying it's a bit of a difficult one because my jaw dropped and I was like, wow. Not even wow, yeah. you know? I think we need crazy. Mama Botella back to do his Ungwana. Thing. Yeah, because you know, it was yeah. just like, yeah. it was like, it was an SMH moment. Uh, it was an SMH moment. And thing. Yes. Yeah. Because now, what is this? It was, it was, like, it you was know, sad. That is not something even people, when you were taught to see me, they talk like that. It was beyond that, no, it was like even Chongwano. I can't even make it on a dream, Skumoja. Leaders what are going to give you a development. Well, you are jenga, you will be nearly jenga. Yeah, you know, it's nearly jenga. Well, we are jenga, but I'm not Yeah, let's keep the faith. There is an uh, chapter 20, chapter 26, chapter? 23. Gosh, I've forgotten. Mm. It's not the three of the six, it's a multiple of the other. So it talks about um, integrity and how, if you're a leader, there are certain things that you know you have to follow, you have to be, you have to. Um, portray in order to be a leader of the nation, yeah. it would be very good if in this country yes. we followed 
copy of constitution yes. when it comes not only to electing our leaders yeah. but also to retaining our leaders the whole call them six. to book it's the chapter, chapter six, six talks Artic about leadership 20? and integrity yes. Yes. sometimes chapter i think Artic that you know you you forget you know um I, was it maya angelo who said something you know i stand as one but i i come as one but i stand as ten thousand. Yes. yes is that sometimes when you are in whatever position of influence you know they say too much is given much is expected yes. exactly Quatch, even if you have these this beef with like I don't know Kuyo people mm. yeah. when you're a leader you're you wearing a very different there. hat yes you know so there are things that you can't see because there's so many people who look up to you and yes. you inspire them yes. mm. so they think oh okay so then oh you demean women oh great yeah. okay I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna do that yeah. so there's a lot of power that comes with it mm -hmm. so beyond your you personal speak. beef yeah. just there are thousands of people who look looking at you looking to what you're saying and then yes. That's what they're going to follow. Yes, yes. There, there are people you're inspiring the wrong yes. way. They're like, yeah, go. Tell toxic her. Toxic masculinity. Tell him. Yeah, toxic masculinity. The hashtag is TTTT. -t -t -t. We get back. We talk about this Brazilian drug trafficker. <laughs> I don't know why I paused there. I, he dressed as his daughter. Quite a got it. We're gonna take a break. We're gonna be back. <laughs> And welcome back. I hope you're sending in those selfies, by the way. We have a lot to give away. Oof. When's the last time you were in Diani? In fact, if you've just come back from school, have you been to Diani ever? You know what I mean? Like, can you imagine going back to school and not lying about how awesome your, your holiday was because it was actually awesome? Do you guys did that? No? No, no, no. Yeah, like I have a you didn't exaggerate. <laughs> All you need is Imagine trust him. Ungeni Lisa. Ungeni text. To funga WhatsApp group is sorry. Diani ni wapi mbasa. Listen. Anyway, we're taking you there. Shout out to Blascon. We're giving you uh, two KFC lunch vouchers and we're giving you six complimentary tickets for you to come through for the event on Sunday. It's a run and you have to send selfies with the hashtag TTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTT
If you can't do the time, don't do the crime. But That's no, I, uh, what, what really got to me was I was thinking about the girl. Like the girl yeah. who, because they were together in that, uh, yeah. the 19 year old. Uh, yeah. So after the dad was arrested and now he's dead, I don't yeah. know what's, what's going through. Her she's mind. like, all that is in vain. Yeah, wait, but like, trouble. was she, he was just going to leave her there? What? He left her in the cell. Yeah. The idea so was that she, for, oh, she, yeah. because she leaved, they'd be like, oh, yes, Mr. Hauli yeah. Kaaba. Oh, yeah. mm. yeah. ah, right. And you know what's strange? Mm -hmm. His name was Shori. Shori? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Like Shori. We used to call him Shori. I wonder why they'd call him that. Because he was a short guy. Uh, what? People. He was a short guy. All right, let's just okay. move on. I'm not sure what Cindy said. But you, this is, well, there were a lot of big stories this week. There was a very big um, you know, story as well that trended two rugby players with a very bright future ahead of them. Um, the sentencing was supposed to take place today, but it has been, it has yeah. been postponed, I think, to the 16th. Right, yeah. Unfortunate to see that as well. Now, Cindy, I know you have a lot to say about this. Yes. Right? Oh, you have um, to get your phone. You I had written notes. Phone, yes. Okay. Um, so there's an update that the lawyers requested uh, non-custodial sentences for the two rugby players. Um, and the lawyer said, these boys are just starting out their lives. If given a custodial sentence, it will dash their dreams. I don't know. It's a... Huh, it's, it's, it's a very sensitive topic this is because we're talking about violation of somebody's rights. The woman came out and said that, you know, they allegedly raped her. And that is why we're, you know, they were arrested and, and, and are, might be sentenced in a week. However, yes, you have to look at the fact that, you know, they're young and whatever. But, like I said before, if you can't do the time, time don't do the crime. Mm. Um, there was like a, it's a tough one. It's yeah, it, it is. There was a lot of conversation going around, and it also happens in the same week when Tony Mochama yes, has actually. also won. Yeah, yeah. He was awarded $9 million in damages yes. in a defamation suit. He yeah. went to court in 2014 after two women accused him of sexual harassment. There was no concrete evidence that he was, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, that he ever molested or sexually assaulted, um, assaulted them. So now mm -hmm. the courts also ordered the women to apologize to him through the court within 14 days. I think it's all about what was presented before the court. The yeah. facts were laid out. If the judges think it was the right uh, uh, choice, mm -hmm. they're still yet to make the sentencing. Yes. Yeah, and the non-custodial <laughs> thing they were asking yeah. for is just that uh, players were saying these people uh, have their whole careers. They want to serve their country. They want to blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So if you're going to sentence them, please let them stay at home. Yeah. Let them keep playing. Let them. I don't know how that's a sentence, but yeah. still. Mm, I don't true. know about you guys, but I find um, topics about violation very difficult to discuss because yes. you know what side do you take yeah. um do you, do, you, do you side with because all this is allegations it's yeah. and everybody's always innocent until proven guilty um i always i don't know i don't know i, I okay, think they, they say what sunk the case especially yeah. with the boys is there was a video mm. that was ah. recorded during the thing and yeah. they deleted the video mm. but to somebody. get it out of evidence mm -hmm. no there was no video okay so the judge was like if there was nothing in the video, mm. oh, if there was nothing to hide, yes, mm. if there was nothing to hide in the video. Mm. But still, I think we shouldn't go much into it. The sentencing yes, has I not just been done. It's yeah, so that personal. is very true. The yes. victim is watching, she's probably thinking, "Yo, so do you think I lied?" You know that kind of yeah. thing. No, 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 no. That is that is very true. And, I mean, of course, you're yeah. right. Even families of so many people. There's and you families know, of so many people exactly who are violated. <coughs> and of course, you feel bad when the guys on social media are saying, "Oh, chicks these days, blah yeah. blah blah blah." You have to yeah. be careful. You have to be not. very careful. Yeah, you know, sometimes if you go to the club and you dress this way, what do you expect? It's, it's yeah. What time were they together? Yeah. Something but I think now, now that the both sentences time are coming crunch. in the same week, just one second, yeah. it proves that uh, it says both sides of the story. There are times when it's true and there are times, times when, when it's not. It's not. Yeah. That is very true. You're absolutely right. All right, so thank you so much, Cindy. Thank you so much, Butita. Hey, Butita, you didn't even say anything towards the end. The matter is really good. Yeah. Okay then, um, that was not awkward at all. <laughs> um, thank you, sir. <laughs> Give me a high five. Hi. <laughs> high five. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, no. <laughs> we're gonna be back at 10 p.m. Should we legalize or not? Yeah. Number one. I and I want it to be legalized. Imagine Even I think it should. Your mother, sister's cousin. Let them the see. Auntie's it. brother was from Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> At 10 p.m. <laughs> We're going to talk about it. Thank you for watching. Bye.